this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can build your own custom help file system without using some of those expensive hard uh, software packages that you see out there on the internet. This is a help file system that you build for your application uh, using uh, the tools available to you in Access and Word. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean here. I've got a application that I built here and it does a bunch of stuff but then I've got a help button. When I click on the help button my help file system opens up and I've got an index of topics and when I click a topic it basically goes to that topic. Okay, very professional looking. It looks like a real help file system. So how did I do this? Well the first thing I did is I created a couple of HTML documents and let me show you. I created a couple of HTML documents in a folder called My Application Folder. Now, My Application Folder gets installed with My Application. So it doesn't have to be called My Application Folder. This is just whatever folder you use. But these help, these help files have to be installed with your application. And I've got a couple of HTML files. And they're all linked together. I've got one here called Help Main. This is the main help file that pops up. This is the file that actually has my icon here and it's got a bunch of topics. And these topics are hyperlinked to other HTML files in my application folder. And these other HTML files, I've got two topics here. If I had 10, I would have 10 of these. I basically open one up and you'll see it's nothing more than the topic and a back button. And the back button is, of course, hyperlinked back to the help main file. So it's basically HTML files that are linked together. How did I make this HTML file? Well, I basically used a Word document. It's nothing more than uh, a Word document here. This is it. This is the Word document that I used to create that HTML file. It's nothing more than a Word document with a bunch of hyperlinks in it. I go to File, Save As, and I can save it as HTML. OK. So I now I've got these HTML files in a folder called My Application Folder. The next step is to design a form that will uh, show all these uh, HTML files through an Access web browser control. So I've got a form open here. It's basically a, a new form. And I'm going to add an Access web browser control. So I'm going to do that by opening up the toolbox and going to ActiveX controls, or more controls, uh, because web browser control is an ActiveX control. And when I click on more controls, a list of ActiveX controls that are available to me are, is going to open up. And I'm basically scrolling down to Microsoft Web Browser Control. And so it's right here. Click on it. Click on your form. And there it is. Now, I don't have to do very much with this thing. All I've got to do is kind of position it and kind of format it to as big as I think that my uh, custom help file system has to be in order to show the user effectively. So I've got this. Now I'm pretty much done with with messing with this particular interface. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and I'm going to save this as I don't know, help main. Okay. And press OK. So now I've got help main here and I'm going to design help main and do a couple things to the design of help me. First thing I want to do is I want to uh, format the form so it doesn't show navigation bars and, and dividing lines. Make it a nice clean form. So I'm going to say record selectors no, navigation buttons no, dividing lines no, auto center yes, and that's fine. Then I'm going to change a couple of the events. On open events here, I'm going to do a couple of things. Go to code, code builder. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say me web browser 0 navigate and then give it the address of the HTML file that I want to start my navigation with. So that particular address is C my application folder help main htm. Okay. Now why is it this? Well, that's the file I want to start off with, helpmain.htm, and then that's in my application folder. So that's the address I want this particular uh, browser to go to when I navigate. Now can this be a website? Of course it can. Uh, it can be any address that holds a particular HTML file. 
So this is saying that upon form open, I want this web browser to automatically navigate to this particular address. Another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to say do command restore. Uh, this just makes sure that it's a in a restored state. Uh, it's not maximized or minimized when this form is open. All right, and that's it. Close this out. I'm going to save the changes that I made to this form. Let's just test it out here, and that's it. Now, do I have to handle the navigation uh, of from one HTML file to another? No, I don't. That, that's all done within the HTML file. So this particular web browser control doesn't have to handle the navigation between files. It only has to handle this initial navigation or an initial look at the main HTML file. And then all I do is assign that particular help form to this help button. Form, help form open. Okay. And that's it. I've got a help button. It opens up this help form, and the help form has a web browser control in it that automatically navigates to my first HTML file, and then that HTML file takes it from there.